गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फाइव वेलकम टू मैथ्स ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर फोर फैक्शनल नंबर्स टिल नाउ यू हैव स्टडीड हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द लोएस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ अ गिवन फ्रैक्शन इन टू डेज क्लास वी विल स्टडी वेदर द गिवन फ्रैक्शन इज इन लोएस्ट फॉर्म और नॉट लेट स्टार्ट Students, let us solve question number one of exercise four point four. Check whether the following fractions are in its lowest form or not. First of all, let us solve a part of question number one. Students, for this, here I have a circle which is divided into fourteen equal parts. students now tell me what is the fraction of colored part yes very good 12 upon 14 now we will see whether 12 upon 14 is in its lowest form or not students see here i have a circle which is divided into seven equal parts in which the fraction of colored portion is 6 upon 7 now see This circle is representing the same colored portion as the first one. So, twelve upon fourteen and six upon seven both are equivalent fractions. You can see six upon seven is the lowest form of twelve upon fourteen. So, twelve upon fourteen is not in the lowest form. Now we will see whether. Six upon seven is in lowest form or not? Now we cannot find further lowest form of six upon seven. So lowest form of twelve upon fourteen is six upon seven. Now we will find out the lowest form of twelve upon fourteen in mathematical terms. Students, in twelve upon fourteen, both twelve and fourteen is divided by Two other than one. After getting divided by two, we get the fraction that is six upon seven. Students, you have already learned if numerator and denominator of a fraction both are divided by a number other than one, then the fraction is not in the lowest form. So twelve upon fourteen is not in the lowest form. students now i have a circle which is divided into 13 equal parts now tell me what is the fraction of colored part yes 8 upon 13 now we cannot find out further lowest form of 8 upon 13 now let us solve in mathematical terms in 8 upon 13 both numerator and denominator are not getting divided other than one so Eight upon thirteen is in lowest form. Now we will solve B part of question number one. Whether twenty one upon thirty five is in lowest form? In twenty one upon thirty five, both twenty one and thirty five are getting divided by seven other than one. So on dividing by seven, we get the fraction that is. Three upon five. Now in three upon five, both three and five is not getting divided other than one. So three upon five is the lowest form of twenty-one upon thirty-five. This shows twenty-one upon thirty-five is not in the lowest form. Now. Let us solve G part of question number one. Whether seven upon fifteen is in lowest form or not? In seven upon fifteen, both numerator and denominator are not getting divided by a number other than one. So seven upon fifteen is in lowest form. Students, now as you are all preparing for pass, here is a question related to pass. Choose the correct equivalent fraction of the colored part of the given circle. Here you are given four circles having different colored portion. 
In option A, the colored part is not same as the given circle, so it is not equivalent fraction. In option B, also colored portion is not same as the given circle, so it is also not equivalent fraction. In option C, also colored portion is not same, so it is also not equivalent fraction. Now in option D, the colored portion is same as the given circle so option d is correct and it is equivalent fraction students now it's time for your homework do all parts of question number one of exercise 4.4 in your notebooks thank you